Welcome back to Mitford Pottery. This evening's video we are going to attempt a lidded jar uh, a la Simon Leach. So fairly basic shape, never tried it before. We'll have a talk as we do so we'll get the camera into position like so. And 14 100 grams of clay, so it's going to be a wide cylinder which we form a shoulder uh, on and then we put a lid on. It'll all come crystal clear as we progress. And we are using our alternate clear tonight. This is it's a ES90, I believe, speckled stoneware, earth stone, speckled stoneware, very nice clay to throw with and hand build with. So we'll have a go, got the glasses on tonight as well so I can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so as always we'll see if we can centre. Got it. Okay. Right, break in. As you expand it, as you expand it, you can sort of center it up again. Very dry, clear. Obvious until we compact the bottom. Just put the sponge bottles forwards. And we'll take the water out, see what we're at. It's okay. Color it in. I don't know why the wheel buzzes. I've checked everything, can't see nothing on it. Right, we'll do our first lift. Lift just to set it, get us going, so we'll collar it in even more. Right, we'll go 
go for our second lift, so push in, grab our lump and clear. Lift and lift. Right, so what we've got, we've got plenty of clear at the bottom. So again, we'll just collar it in. So this bit here is where all our clears, so our next bit is going to be pushing in here. So we'll store our wheel down. inch down there so we'll get some water on and we'll go for one more one more lift so again in push in at the bottom push out from the inside get that lump bit clear So next is we're gonna smooth this off, make it straight. And to do that we get our wooden rib. Which one we're gonna to use today? We're gonna to use that. So we've got wooden rib. One stick. So, what we're going to do, we'll trim the bottom first so we're straight. Just 
should call on that in a little bit. So use the rib to compact it, which gets rid of some of the thrown lines. So we're pushing from both sides. That smooths that out a bit. See what we're at. We'll sponge this out the way. Territory now. So we've got to. So we're going to go from about there. And we're going to collar it right in. So that's where we're going to go for our elbow. Now I think do that we can use our index finger to define that. And before we close it up do is bend this bit back out again. So we're going to bend that back out there. Like so. There. where our top is flat so, so we'll trim that then we will use our chamois to finish that bit off Probably could have thrown it. 
with a little less weight in it. But we are just amateurs, so. Undercut in. Right. Next, we need calipers. Because we're going to do lid. Where's our calipers? Massive lid. Let go for that. So that's on the inside. Cut this fella. Leave him on the bat. that one done we're now so it's a very basic lid just wipe this clay off here so for this we have we've got a little 300 gram ball of clear which is some off cuts off the other day so it might be a bit tough so the main thing is to centre it Centering small lumps of clay is always a bit of a chore. I think we've got it. So we got we have got that far to go. So we'll break in. plenty of thickness on the base so we can carve a bit of a shape into it. Oh, too big. Too big. So I'm going to squash them back in. It's about right. So, what we'll do, so we'll see what we're doing. So it's basically a little bowl we've created and what I want to do is just flatten that inside wall. So 
so it matches when the ball go when it goes in there it goes all the way down the same Excuse me. Getting too wide. Do us. So what we've got to do now, see the depth of this lid, compared to our trawler, which is literally So we can trim and trim a bit off this. We had a bit too much. It's pretty good. So we'll just leather that. A sharper, a sharper tool. So that's it for this part and we're going to let them dry let's have a look at this so we're going to let them two pieces dry and we'll see you when we reset and we'll do a trimming of the lid and the base of the jar so see you when we reset Okay, reset and we are trimming our jar. So we'll show you what we're up to. So got a chuck on a different grip, centered up. We started taking a bit of the excess off the bottom so it was a bit thick. Throwing a wee bit thick on the base. So we're just in the process. of trimming this. So we've got a Simon Leach trim tool. It's a weapon of choice for tonight. So I'm going to trim this edge and a little bit out of the middle if we can just to lighten it up a bit. 
so we're nearly at our marks So we've just got to tidy this up without making a hash of it, which can easily be done at the last. That's it. Now I'm going to have a theme of little lines on this. So we want something to make a nice line. So I'm going to do three lines there and then we'll do three lines on the top and then three lines on the lid. First things first, we're going to match our three lines. We're going to do them at the top. Three lines. Now, what I'm going to do on this bit, I think, Too much of a hush. Terrible that. Start again on that fella. So a simple lidded jar. It's that bit done. So 
So that's trim part done. We'll see you uh, when we have some results. So hopefully it'll not be too long. See you in a bit when we put them in and take them out of the kiln. Okay, end of our video off of this uh, making a jar uh, from start to finish. So you've seen us throw it, trim it, we have now glazed it and fired it. So that is the final outcome now. We've finished it in Temaku Gold, get a nice effect. And inside is a boat glaze, it's sort of like a brown. Very stable for an inside glaze. Nice finish on the base. And of course, it's a lidded jar, so we've got our lid. Again, that's brown on the inside. Temaku Gold on the outside with matching detail. And that is our lidded jar. Nice piece. So I'm glad you've watched all this video from start to finish. Uh, they do take a while to make the start to finish videos. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it though. And there will be more in the future. So like, subscribe, comment. See you all later. Bye.